I had a violin lesson with a student the other day and something came across that lesson that I've actually never spoken about on this YouTube channel before. It's the height of your setup, meaning the height of your shoulder rest. Should you play with a high shoulder rest? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be answering that specific question. But before we do that, I just wanna introduce myself. My name is Eric, I'm a violinist. If you're new to the channel, I do a lot of violin tutorials and how-to tips. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. And welcome back to all of you YouTube violinists who are on the channel already. I wanna start off this video with a bit of a story. And this story goes back maybe 12, 13 years ago. I was a high school student and I attended a music camp and I was just discovering how to have a good violin setup and what that really means. I actually had a, had a violin nerve injury and that is a result of having a poor setup. I thought that because I have a tall neck, I'm gonna get like the tallest shoulder rest and then I'm gonna get like the tallest SAS chin rest and my neck was like, like completely locked in. Because my neck was locked in, I didn't have that mobility in my neck, I actually started feeling this tingly feeling in my in my fingers. Do you know the feeling that when your foot falls asleep, then you know you feel the needles in your feet, in your toes? Well, I was starting to get that in my fingers. And that is never a good sign when you are starting to feel the tingly needle-like sensation in your fingers. That means something's gotta change, whether it's your setup, whether it's you know being more mobile on uh, on your neck. Those are really critical steps that led me towards being more aware of my posture and my violin setup. So my student did some weird contraption, actually added a sponge on top of his sponge on this side of the, of the violin, on the shoulder rest. However, there are a couple disadvantages to doing this because when you lift up the violin this way, your right shoulder actually is not in its most natural form. You actually have to manipulate your, your playing a little bit. So all of a sudden you go from here, then you're, all of a sudden you're here. And your um, deltoid, your shoulder, and this entire region, as a matter of fact, is going to hurt in the long run. You're gonna feel more tired. On this channel, I always emphasize that you wanna make sure that you're feeling your most relaxed while you play your instrument because you will have a lot more success in the long run, you will avoid injuries, and as a matter of fact, you're gonna sound better. So that is one of the disadvantages of having a higher shoulder rest. If you go up here, and I'm actually gonna be lifting my shoulder rest up off my shoulder just for demonstrating, um, right over here, my entire chest kind of goes up this way. And this is wrong because you're building a lot of tension in your upper body and a lot of violinists would argue that you want to make sure that you are exhaling and releasing that energy off of your um, out of out of your body. Having a violin position this way, if I'm breathing, then all of a sudden I'm kind of like stuck in this position. And in a performance setting, you're gonna feel the nerves, and on top of that, you're gonna feel that tension in your upper body. And I really don't want to do that for you. I wouldn't recommend it. If you're someone who is struggling with a good fit on your shoulder, then what I recommend you do is you go to a violin shop, you go to an expert that really will help you understand how your shoulder and how your, you know, your collarbone and your face is laid out because it's not a one size fits all solution. It's just simply not. For me being a, a stubborn high schooler back in the day, you know, I thought that by having the highest chin rest and highest shoulder rest, I would, you know, I would be okay. But that wasn't the case at all. I was actually feeling really tense and looking back on it, I'm actually glad I have that experience because it taught me how to feel relaxed while I play. I recommend all my students and all the listeners and viewers on this channel to really go to a string shop because a general music store is not going to have an expert behind the counter to talk about the little subtle details and intricacies about having a, a reliable shoulder rest. You want someone who has the heart of a teacher so that you can play at your best and not have to worry about like tensing or squeezing or you know having like a weird violin setup. 
the best way to go about this whole shoulder rest situation is to understand where your collarbone lies. For me, my collarbone is down here. So between my collarbone and my neck, there's that's quite a bit of distance. So that's why I originally thought, oh, maybe I need like a taller shoulder rest. Maybe I need a higher chin rest to fill in that space. But you want the natural weight of your head to really go on the violin. Very important that we do that because if I squeeze, you'll notice that there's a lot of tension in my neck. And that's a common problem that most students don't understand is that we need that mobility in the head so that way we can relax our neck when we're playing for long periods of time. Another quick tip that I'd like to add for you out of this video is that when you're practicing in front of a mirror, lift your head up and down as you see me do in this video and as practice, you can put your hand, your left hand, up and down from first position on the fingerboard. And always make sure that you're relaxing your head left and right so there's mobility, so everything will look good. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope to get this conversation going in the comment section below. Question of the day, what kind of shoulders do you play on, and do you struggle with shoulder tension? Do you struggle with your shoulder rest? I want to get this conversation going to hear from you. I respond to every comment, so leave your comments down below. And again, my name is Eric. I do a lot of these how-to tutorials and violin how-to tips on YouTube. If you like this video, hit the like button. And also, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, so that way you get notified for when these videos come out. Also, I have a bunch of violin tutorial videos on this channel, so I recommend that you take a look over here and right over here for other violin tutorial videos. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.